Shadow Hack Chapter 881, Or Mountain As the sun set in the west, the sky was covered with a red hue. Li Yunmi rode on the fierce tiger toward the Or Mountain between Lakshmi City and Azura City. After the fifteen gods had disappeared, the speed of the fierce tiger had increased greatly. By noon, it reached the vicinity of the Or Mountain. By following the narrow path, they could see a great mountain, which was shaped like a broken sword struck in the ground, in front of them. That mountain was the Or Mountain partitioned to Chen Chiu by the four great clans with several veins of ores hidden within it. One after another, several clouds of black fog appeared in the sky and quickly flew into the shadow behind Li Yun Mu. He looked at them while sitting on the fierce tiger, and a faint smile appeared on his face. A group of people who overestimate their own strength, he mumbled to himself. Not one of the fifteen gods had survived. It was quite possible that the four clan patriarchs waiting in their mansions for the news of the operation might faint after hearing the news. Just recently, their patron ancestors had died, and now, a high-end combat force composed of fifteen gods had also been wiped out. Li Yunmu patted the fierce tiger and softly said, Increase your speed and hurry to the Or Mountain. The fierce tiger quickly rushed forward on its four limbs, leaving a trail of dust in its wake. Not long after, a human and a tiger reached the Or Mountain. After arriving at the bottom, Li Yunmi looked at the camp established under the mountain and several Moro clansmen with two faces working quickly. When they saw Li Yunmi sitting on the back of the fierce tiger, all of them stopped their work and raised their heads to look at him. Li Yunmi looked at the group of Moro clansmen and revealed a hint of divine presence. Where is the supervisor of this camp? When the group of Moro clansmen sensed the Divine Presence, they panicked. Although all of them were Moro clansmen who possessed remarkable bloodline ability, they had offended the direct descendants in the clan and were reduced to the status of laborers sent to the resource land of the Or Mountain. When Li Yunmi revealed his Divine Presence, they could sense that it was similar to that of the supervisor of the Or Mountain. Because of that, they guessed that he should be the new supervisor sent from the clan. A pale-haired old man with a face full of grime paid his respect and said, Sire is the new supervisor? I will take Sir to the supervisor. After saying that, a half-god energy fluctuation appeared from the elder, and a clone appeared behind him which quickly rushed inside the camp. Not long after, the elder returned with a handsome middle-aged man behind him. Moro clan's elder Yanchiu greets sixth ancestor. I wonder whether the sixth ancestor's trip has been peaceful. Yan Chiu was smiling, but when he looked at Li Yun Mu sitting on the fierce tiger, a hint of suspicion flashed past his eyes. When the rest of Moro clan's people heard the word ancestor, the alarmed expressions on their face became even more grave, and they quickly knelt on the ground and began to kowtow. Li Yun Mu looked at the bowing Yan Chiu and said in a cold voice, Nothing happened. I wonder why Elder Yan is saying so. How was that possible? The four clans had dispatched fifteen elders to assassinate him, so how could Chen Chiu reach the resource land safely? Where were the fifteen gods? Doubt took root in the heart of Yan Chiu, who had received word from clan patriarch a long time ago about how Chen Chiu was going to be attacked and killed by fifteen gods after leaving Azura City. He hadn't cared about it much since things would continue as usual in the Or Mountain, but who could have expected that Chen Chiu would surprisingly reach the Or Mountain safely? Where exactly were the fifteen gods that should have stopped him? Yan Chiu suppressed the suspicion in his heart and said with a fake smile on his face, Lord Ancestor is being unnecessarily suspicious. As someone from Azura City, I am naturally worried about whether Lord Ancestor encountered any difficulties en route. After all, Lanlu is very dangerous, and the people of other ancient gods will attack when they see Lord Ancestor. But fortunately, Ancestor reached the Or Mountain safely. Come with me, Lord Ancestor. I will take you to your residence. The living environment in the Or Mountain is very lacking. It cannot compare to Azura City at all. I beg for Lord Ancestor's forgiveness. While saying that, Yan Chiu respectfully led the fierce tiger which Li Yunmi was riding, into the camp. Inside it, Li Yunmi saw Moro clansmen everywhere. 
There were also some others who could be considered as slum dwellers of lower city. They were covered in grime and had no hint of spirit in their eyes. Yan Chiu led Li Yun Mu to a tent in the depths of the camp and then retreated respectfully without giving him any chance to nitpick. As for the matter of transferring the resource land, he didn't mention a word about it. Li Yun Mu climbed off the tiger and sat down on a seat in the tent. Yan Chiu should be busy notifying Jiao Xiu about his arrival and asking about the situation of the fifteen gods. However, despite the bodies of the fifteen gods having been destroyed, their souls were still intact. That meant that their soul slips in the four clans should also be whole, so the four clan patriarchs would find it quite strange. Li Yun Mu extended his palm in front of him, and the middle of it ruptured to reveal a large hole. He looked inside and saw his heavenly world. Within it, Chen Chi was sitting with his eyes closed, cultivating. At his side, there was a transparent four-sided lattice. There were fifteen white balls of light mixed inside the lattice, and they were all knocking against the edge. The fifteen of you still haven't given up on your struggle? You are trying your utmost to rebel inside my heavenly world, so could it be that you cannot sense that this is a heavenly world and I am the master here? The fifteen light balls sealed inside the four-sided lattice gave up struggling after hearing that and cursed in rage. Who exactly are you, traitor? What is your goal behind sneaking into Azura City by impersonating Chen Chu? I say, even if Chen Chu was raised to God Realm by God Father, how could he possibly kill the fifteen of us? This kind of strength surpasses that of gods, so could it be that you are another ancient god? The more the fifteen gods spoke, the more the light balls shuddered, displaying their growing fear. It had turned out that they weren't dealing with Chen Chu, but another ancient god. He had infiltrated Azura City by impersonating Chen Chu, but what exactly was his aim behind establishing the ground clan? And the place where they had all been relocated wasn't part of Lanlu. It was like a small world in itself. This kind of thing was only heard about in legends. Even though they were gods, they had never seen such a thing, and what was more, they hadn't even heard of any ancient god in Lanlu being able to do it. Li Yunmu looked at the fifteen gods trembling in fear, and a smile appeared on his face. He flipped his hand, and the cavity at the center of his palm instantly welded together. The voices of the fifteen gods disappeared, and the room sank into silence. Now, what do you intend to do, the system asked. Li Yunmu was half lying on the chair while supporting his head with one hand. What else could I do? he said slowly while looking at the entrance of the tent before him. Yan Chiu should have run to contact the four clans, so they will definitely go to investigate the soul slips. But unfortunately for them, the souls of the fifteen gods haven't shattered, so the investigation of the four clans won't reveal anything. They won't dare to act without thinking, however, so after taking over the resource land, I will take a trip to Lakshmi City. I wonder how little Buletin is doing in Lakshmi City. The system didn't speak for a time, but countless thoughts passed through its mind. What I want to say is, you should start this battle of gods in advance. Chapter 882, The Doubts of the Four Clans When Li Yunmu heard the system's words, he became absent-minded while looking before himself. The system's words were like a question. Azura alone could kill four ancient gods which made the other ancient gods hesitate. After the battle between Land of Ice against the combined forces of Lanlu and the Ocean region, all ancient gods had suffered injuries. Only Azura, with his scheming, faked heavy injuries while in truth not even a hair on his head had been touched. The instant all the ancient gods were attacked by Azura, the outcome of the battle would be decided. If all the ancient gods and Azura staked their lives on the fight, then undoubtedly the ones to win would be the numerous gods. But if they did so, then apart from Lakshmi, who was only a small fraction of a soul, the other five ancient gods would perish as well. This was the reason why the ancient gods decided to retreat after gathering outside Azura City. No one wanted to become cannon fodder in the battle between gods. Thus, the situation in Lanlo turned even more delicate. A balance existed between Azura and the six ancient gods. 
Azura could get a one-up and stabilize his situation or the six ancient gods could completely recover from their injuries first. That's when the battle between the gods would be unleashed. Naturally, we must try to start the battle of gods in advance. I can't stay in Lanla for a hundred years. Dragon Lady and my daughter cannot wait that long. Also, I don't know how little Buletin is doing, Li Yunmu slowly said after pondering over multitudes of thoughts. After making a trip to Lakshmi City, not only could he see the situation of little Buletin and ancient god Lakshmi, he could launch the battle of gods in advance. But before that, he had to drive out Yan Chiu off his land. When night descended, the entire Or Mountain turned somber and desolate. West wind was blowing from the east side and cutting into the skin. In a tent within the camp, Yan Chiu was sitting upright on a chair while holding a spotlessly white jade tile in his hand. He shot a ray of divine power into the jade tile, and ripples appeared on the surface. A deep, manly voice came from within the tile. Yan Chiu, why did you find me? Yan Chiu clasped the jade tile with both hands and respectfully said, Clan Patriarch, did the four clans really dispatch fifteen gods to kill Chen Chiu? After hearing such a question, Jiao Xiu, who was sitting far away from the tile had a premonition that something was wrong. After a moment of silence, he asked, What did you mean by those words? Chen Chiu is at the Ore Mountain. He arrived just now, in the evening, Yan Chiu stated. Jiao Xiu, sitting in the main seat of the residence, felt his heart lurch to a stop, and his expression turned wooden. The smile hanging on the face of the three clan patriarchs, sitting around him, disappeared as well. Although the evening had come, the four clan patriarchs were still sitting in the main hall. They hadn't returned to their respective clans so as to wait for the fifteen gods to return with the cultivation method. While waiting, the four were scheming about regaining the resource lands as well as suppressing ground clan to turn them into the subordinate force of the four clans. A good conclusion was already written, so they only had to wait for the fifteen gods to return with the good news. But Yan Chiu surprisingly said that Chen Chiu had already reached the Ore Mountain and was completely unscathed. Where did the fifteen gods go then? Jiao Xiu put away the white tile, which cut off the connection with Yan Chiu. He turned his head and looked at Ming Wang guarding the hall and said in a gloomy voice, Go to Elder Council and check whether the soul tiles of the elders that went out are broken or not. Yes, Patriarch. Ming Wang moved and disappeared from his location. Before a long time passed, his figure reappeared by Jiao Xiu's side, and he said with a strange expression, The soul tiles of the dispatched elders are completely intact. Chen Chiu had reached the resource land unscathed, but the soul slips of the fifteen gods weren't broken. After pondering about it, Jiao Xiu realized that there was only one possibility. He and the other three clan patriarchs turned their heads toward the city lord's mansion. The only person who could easily stop the fifteen gods and even make them disappear was Godfather. Apart from him, there was no other person who could do that. But if Godfather had taken action, why wasn't there any reaction from the city lord, or did he not even notice? When Godfather had entered seclusion, Ashby had witnessed it personally. If that was true, and it was, why would he secretly attack the fifteen gods dispatched by the four clans to kill Chen Chiu? And instead of turning them to ashes, he just captured them? Was it possible that Godfather had used Ashby's mouth to let the four patriarchs know about his seclusion until death or success? Was he actually secretly monitoring their movements all this while? Jiao Xiu's complexion instantly turned pale, and his whole body went numb as if it had been electrocuted. If Godfather knew, he would definitely settle the bill with the four clans at an opportune moment. Previously, the four ancestors had rebelled, so the new crime called for the clan's extermination. Godfather hasn't come over directly to interrogate us, which means we still have an opportunity. The matter of us four dispatching fifteen gods has never happened. Understand? If Godfather asks in the future, act as if we don't know anything, Doro clan's patriarch said with a gloomy expression. The other clan patriarchs nodded, even the one-track-minded Raha clan's patriarch. 
So what should we do with Chen Xiu? Do we still continue trying to kill him? When he said such words, the matriarch of Deva clan sitting beside him revealed a hint of contempt and said with a sneer, Godfather took action and you still want to kill him. Don't tell me you aren't afraid of getting your clan exterminated. Once the Ruhu clan's patriarch heard her words, his robust body shuddered, and he did not say anything else. Silence filled the room. Suspicion continued filling the heart of the four patriarchs as they left Moro clan's residence and returned to their own clans. Xiao Xiu remained in his seat while looking outside the main hall and thinking about what had happened. After half a day, he felt that he couldn't just sit and wait for death, so he got up to prepare for a trip to the city lord's mansion to ask Ashby about what exactly was going on. If Godfather had really faked entering seclusion, then in the future, Moro clan could not take any action against Chen Xiu or the ground clan. In the camp at the foot of the mountain, Yan Xiu saw that there were no ripples on the surface of the white jade tile, and his expression turned somewhat strange. Previously, the patriarch had told him through the jade tile that the four clans had dispatched fifteen gods to kill Chen Xiu. After he heard it, Yan Xiu didn't think that Chen Xiu would arrive at the resource land in the Ore Mountain, so he had prepared a banquet and some resources for the fifteen gods from the four clans. However, Chen Xiu had come to the Ore Mountain, while there was not even a trace of the fifteen gods. Yan Xiu, who was communicating with Xiao Xiu for all the important things, had no idea about what to do at that moment. Chen Xiu's aim for arriving at the Ore Mountain was to take over this resource land. Then, as the supervisor dispatched by Moro clan, Yan Xiu couldn't decide whether to hand over the resource land to Chen Xiu or not. If he didn't hand it over, he would be in trouble after returning to Azura City. After all, Chen Xiu was Godfather's son and the sixth ancestor of Azura City. But if Yan Xiu did hand over the territory and the patriarch didn't agree with it, he wouldn't have any share when power of belief was distributed. It was a really difficult problem. Yan Xiu pondered it for half a day, then waved his large hand and said, Forget it, doesn't matter. Since I cannot understand the intentions of the two sides, I will drag it off for now. In any case, Chen Xiu doesn't seem anxious to take over this Ore Mountain. Chapter 883, Great Service Early morning the next day, Li Yunmu still hadn't come out of his tent when Yan Xiu arrived at his gate. As the supervisor dispatched by Moro clan, he understood the relationship between the four great clans and Li Yunmu. But even so, when he arrived, there were two girls at the prime of their youth wearing clothes made of hemp with fair skin and lively eyes following behind him. Seeing them made people want to cherish them. The young girls were completely ordinary, and they didn't have any extra body parts like the people of Azura City nor a hint of cultivation. The faces of the girls were filled with smiles, and they were holding spirit fruits and wine filled with rich energy. Upon coming into the tent, they placed everything on top of the table and moved to stand by Li Yunmu's side, who was lying on the chair as if he didn't have any bones in his body. Li Yunmu looked at the young girls and felt his heart twitch as if it had received some sort of shock. The unlimited spring at the first light of morning anyone who saw such a thing wouldn't be able to control themselves. Although Li Yunmi was a master god level expert, he wasn't a saint without any desire or cravings. Refraining from watching the springtime which stood at his sides, he raised his head and looked at Yan Chiu standing in front of him. Supervisor Yan Chiu, what are you doing? By delivering these young girls early in the morning, are you trying to honey trap me? When Yan Xiu heard his words, there wasn't the slightest change in his expression. Yesterday, Sixth Ancestor arrived at the Ore Mountain after a long and hard trek, he said slowly. I thought you would like a proper rest, so I only called these girls early this morning to serve you. Li Yunmu looked at Yan Xiu's fawning smile, and the smile at the corner of his mouth became even brighter. It could be assumed that Yan Xiu had talked with Xiao Xiu, so according to reason, the four clans should already know about the matter of the fifteen gods disappearing without a trace. They would most probably then push the blame on Godfather. Yan Xiu did not seem to have obtained a clear command from Xiao Xiu and was being careful. 
There wasn't the slightest bit of neglect on his part in treatment of Li Yunmu as the ancestor, but he didn't make any mention of handing over the Ore Mountain, so it could be seen that he was dragging out the matter. Li Yunmu took a sparkling spirit fruit from the hand of one of the young girls standing beside him and swallowed it before saying, Then I have bothered Supervisor Yan Chiu for making these arrangements so carefully. Your service is really good. However, this ancestor came to patrol the resource land and take it over. Once the words take over were said, the smile on Yan Chiu's face went stiff. After a moment of silence, he slowly spoke with a hint of respect in his tone. There's no need to worry about it, Lord can rest properly first. Afterwards, whenever you are ready, I will take your distinguished self to a stroll around the Ore Mountain. With such beauties serving you, Lord should first rest. These beauties belong to my personal collection, and they come from mortal tribes subordinate to Azura City. Each and every one of them is tender and delicate and can evoke anyone's desire. Yan Chiu raised his head after speaking and looked at Li Yunmu with the corner of his lips trembling as if saying Do you understand? Li Yunmu, who was lying on the couch, gave a profound smile, then hugged the beauties standing at his sides. Upon seeing this, Yan Chiu withdrew from the tent with a smile. Once he left, the smile on his face disappeared without a trace, and he proceeded toward another tent with a serene expression on his face. From Li Yunmu's tent, the sounds of laughing echoed. They were mixed with the crisp voices of the young girls, which made Yan Chiu's legs go soft. His face was expressionless, but he was extremely angry in his heart. The girls were carefully selected by him from mortal tribes, and each and every one of them was top quality. Originally, he had left them to slowly enjoy them someday, but who could have known that Chen Chiu would come to Or Mountain? Not only did he threaten the resources which had always earned him a hefty profit, but he also had to hand over the mortal girls from his collection. It was simply ridiculous. He was also a god, but because of the difference in their status, Yan Chiu had to be extremely respectful. Only after sacrificing something valuable can another valuable thing be obtained. The land of tenderness was sufficient to drown Chen Chiu, which would temporarily stabilize the situation. Other things had to wait until the patriarch gave a clear command. Yan Chiu entered his tent, then picked up the jade tile and infused some divine power into it. The divine power sunk into the jade tile without producing any reaction. No reaction. In the meantime, the sounds of laughter came from outside the tent. The young girls were only left with a pair of undergarments, revealing their lily-white skin. Li Yunmi was lying among them with a smile at the corners of his mouth. The girls did not see when a shadow appeared on the ground and rushed out of the tent. After flying outside, it went toward the Ore Mountain and penetrated into the deepest parts of it. There were veins of ore zigzagging through the mountain. Every vein had some powerful laborer working on it with an iron hoe. Some laborers had dug out a pile of ore and placed it in the trunk behind their body, which they took to the mouth of the cavity to hand over to the supervisor from time to time. While flitting past, the black shadow saw the supervisor at the mouth of the cave glance at the ore in the trunk and nod. After the laborer returned to the cave, he surveyed his surroundings and placed the majority of the ore in another iron bucket. Li Yunmu, who had transformed into a black shadow, understood why Yan Chiu was using beautiful women to stall him. Even though he was already a god, he was embezzling the ore for his own use for a long time. When Li Yunmu thought about it, he understood that even becoming a god depended upon whether the person belonged to the clan patriarch's familial lineage or not. If they belonged to the patriarch's family, then they would naturally have everything and wouldn't need to struggle or fight. As for the descendants of other elders, they didn't have a huge amount of resources to support them and could only struggle to obtain them slowly. First, Yan Chiu had to contest the power of belief to become a god, then, after doing that, he had to struggle in the resource land. It included becoming a supervisor to embezzle resources for his own use, since they could then be used to exchange for other things in the clan. Li Yunmu sneered and entered the insides of Or Mountain. He had left behind another shadow in the camp under the mountain so that Yan Chiu wouldn't become suspicious, while his main body was rushing toward Lakshmi City. 
After he reached Lakshmi city, he would start the battle of gods. While passing through the mountain, the black shadow found a small path through the woods and emerged with Li Yunmu's original appearance. He calmly advanced toward Lakshmi city after that. Every village he passed through while traveling on the small path had a group of young children studying martial arts. The eyes of each and every one of them were filled with determination. When Li Yunmu saw that, he was astonished. He hadn't expected that the martial skills he had imparted to only one village would lead to all the mortals in Lakshmi city's territory beginning to practice them. When the soldiers from Azura city were engaging in wanton massacre among the villages, the thought of overthrowing the gods had already appeared in their hearts. In each and every village, the healthy mortals began to practice cultivation with a seed of defying the heavens and murdering the gods taking root within them. It was the birth of a new power. Compared to the mortals of other planes, the mortals of the origin world were really blessed with fortune. During each inhale and exhale, they would absorb the natural energy. In the long run, their bodies, which had good innate talent, would give them considerable advantage over the mortals of other planes. Chapter 884, Holy Daughter Euro Not bad, not bad. Many in this village have good innate talent. While passing through a village, Li Yunmu secretly hid on the side to look at the mortals practicing martial arts. The majority of them were practicing standard posture, while a few of them released some martial power with every gesture and motion. After secretly watching them for a moment, Li Yunmu continued in the direction of Lakshmi city. The system seemed to have resurrected in his heart at that moment and said with a smile, those mortals have only displayed some martial power and are yet to become even flux experts. Why are you getting so excited? I naturally have to be excited. How long has it been since I imparted the cultivation method? All the villages that we have passed through have people cultivating in them. The group of mortals we rescued must have spread those martial skills. The most important thing, though, is that each and every person in the village is beginning to cultivate martial arts, which is a good omen. It also proves that what I thought at that time was correct. This world has decayed because of gods. The gods of the origin world stand at a very high position, from which they suppress mortals completely. But it is different now. The thoughts of mortals are beginning to shift. Without the presence of a god to worship, they can only rely on themselves. Li Yunmu slowly followed along the narrow path when the system's voice echoed in his brain again. What you said isn't necessarily correct. If it was correct, I would have done it long ago it said with a sneer. But compared to mortals of the origin world, the people of Earth are an exception, Li Yunmu said with a faint smile. System sneered and said confidently, so what, even if the people of Earth can crawl to the top, their most formidable expert is only a half-god. They don't have a single god. Earth is only a parallel plane, so producing a half-god is already the limit. But what concerns these mortals living in the origin world, the energy of the world seeps into their bodies day and night, which makes their constitution very good. How about taking a gamble with me? Let's bet on whether on the path to Lakshmi city a flux expert or even a sage flux expert will appear. Li Yunmu spoke indifferently and the system in his mind was silent for a moment before agreeing. Soon, they reached another village. It was much larger compared to the last one, and the voices of mortals were even more resonant. Li Yunmu hid at a secret place and observed them for a moment. He quickly noticed that the muscular man in the lead was releasing the presence of a flux expert with each gesture and movement. After seeing that, the system in his brain didn't say anything. Li Yunmu laughed then continued walking down the path. After walking for a while, he reached another village. The leader in the plaza there was emitting the presence of a ninth layer great flux expert, which was quite direct and formidable. So what was I saying? The mortals of this origin world possess endless potential, and their innate talent is much higher than that of mortals of a plane. As long as they exploit it, it isn't impossible for them to become gods. Li Yunmu mumbled to himself while continuing to walk. There wasn't a single person on the path, so he naturally wouldn't bother chatting mentally with the system. 
It didn't say anything and remained silent for a while before sighing in the end. After hearing it, Li Yunmiu knew that the system had accepted his theory in its heart, but was finding it difficult to believe it. As the only true god who created the gods and the origin world, he had finally discovered that the world he created was decaying and he found it difficult to accept it. With the system staying silent in his brain, Li Yunmi used Heavenly Insect Step to rush toward Lakshmi City. After he continued for some time, he reached the edge of Lakshmi City in a short time. When he entered that area, the number of mortal residences increased, and the population became much more concentrated. The places he saw previously could only be called villages while what he was seeing right then were the tribes. While passing through the few of them, Li Yunmiu sensed the presence of several sage flux experts. He hadn't thought that someone would truly rise to initial stage sage flux expert in such a short time. This level of aptitude was truly terrifying. But what he hadn't expected was that despite the people being so close to the edge of Lakshmi city, Neither ancient god Lakshmi nor the twelve holy daughters had come to suppress them. Who is it? Sneaking here. Just when Li Yunmi was thinking of entering a tribe and taking a look, a crisp and cold voice echoed behind him. He turned around and saw a young woman with white clothes fluttering in the wind standing in the sky. Her white teeth and red lips looked extremely adorable. Once Li Yunmi examined her, he realized her identity. When he was in the Pipa clan, a group of holy daughters had come from Lakshmi city to provide assistance. The young woman in front of him was one of the holy daughters who had come. When the holy daughter looked at Li Yunmiu's face, she was startled for a moment. She recalled something and quickly pulled back her divine presence before floating down to the ground. So it is you, what are you doing here, she asked with a smile. Ancient god Lakshmi is in Lakshmi city. Young sister Bai Ling and ancient goddess Brunhilda are also there. Why didn't you enter the city and instead came to this tribe? Li Yunmi watched the charming holy daughter for a moment before suspiciously asking, I wonder what is this holy daughter known as? Yu Ro's body moved slightly, and she said with a smile. I am Jade Flute clan's holy daughter, known as Yu Ro. You can just call me Yu Ro. Speaking of which, I still need to address you as God. However, she said with some suspicion, Lord still hasn't answered me. Why are you hanging around this tribe? When I was passing through here, I sensed the presence of an initial stage sage flux expert in the mortal tribe, which I found somewhat strange, so I came to take a look, Li Yunmiu answered truthfully. Just a moment ago, he had wanted to see whether such a large tribe had any talented people. If they had, then making them his disciples wouldn't be a bad idea. Yu Ro nodded, thinking that the appearance of an initial stage sage flux experts in a mortal tribe was only because of the contribution of this lord in front of her. She then slowly said, Lord, this territory is under Lakshmi city's control. The mortals can cultivate martial arts and cultivation methods only because of you. Previously, if Lakshmi city or ancient goddess learned about it, they probably would have been stopped. After all, cultivators walk the path of defying the heavens. Once they step on it, they don't produce any power of belief. Although our Lakshmi city doesn't use power of belief to create gods, our reliance on power of belief is still very high. Ancient goddess said that with the great war imminent, the little amount of power of belief is no longer of any use. It would be better to let the mortals strengthen themselves to defend against what is to come. Li Yunmiu nodded. Who could have thought that ancient god Lakshmi would be so broad-minded? The traditions of Lakshmi city were also related to that, like not relying on power of belief to cultivate. Because of that, the citizens naturally wouldn't place much importance on it. If it had been Azura city and Azura learned about such happenings, he would certainly exterminate all the mortals practicing martial skills so as to prevent a shortage of power of belief. Yu Ro, what are you doing at the edge of Lakshmi city? Since you are a holy daughter, you should be guarding the ancient goddess in Lakshmi city. Chapter 885, Something Big Happened When holy daughter Yu Ro heard his words, the smile on her lips gradually disappeared. After a long time, 
she slowly said, when we schemed at the Pipa clan and gathered the power of belief in the musical instruments of Lucky Wind City for ancient god Lakshmi's use, it was sufficient to intimidate the other five ancient gods in the beginning. Li Yunmu nodded his head. The result of the initial discussion was indeed that. Only a part of the ancient goddess's soul remained, and it was hiding in the Jade Pipa. However, Lu Bailing became the new holy daughter of Pipa clan, and her cultivation was only at initial sage realm. Even if she used the power of belief in the Jade Pipa, she could only reach the initial stage god realm. By relying on a god's strength, how could she intimidate five ancient gods? Even if the ancient gods were injured, they were still ancient gods. Without any trump cards, it was impossible for a god to fight those surpassing their realm. If ancient god Lakshmi appeared in front of the five gods with a god-level cultivation, she was likely to be swallowed. After recognizing that, they gathered the power of belief in Lakshmi city to allow the ancient goddess to possess ancient god-level strength. With the exception of Azura, no one else would know that only a part of ancient goddess's soul remained. This should have proceeded without a hitch. After all, the five ancient gods sensed her presence and descent from the divine palace to discuss dealings with Azura. So what happened afterwards, was there any problem? The five ancient gods shouldn't have noticed that only a part of ancient goddess soul remained. All the power of belief in Lakshmi city should have allowed her to attack ten times, Li Yunmu said with a frown. When holy daughter Yu Ro heard this, she sighed. At first, they didn't see through it. But we hadn't thought that after the five ancient gods allied with our ancient goddess, they would also ally with Azura's four descendants who wanted to turn on Azura secretly. However, that went. Before she could finish speaking, Li Yunmu understood the general situation roughly. The five ancient gods were expert schemers. Although they allied themselves with the ancient goddess, they also colluded with the four ancestors in secret. There was no trust among ancient gods. If they allied with the ancient goddess, then they would naturally get some benefits in killing Azura. But those benefits fell short of what the four ancestors could offer. If they cooperated with them to kill Azura, the small benefits offered by ancient god Lakshmi would mean nothing to them. Apart from that, the four ancestors were newly advanced ancient gods, so they were easy to control for the five ancient gods who had been existing since ancient times. Everyone harbored their own nefarious designs. The four ancestors wanted to use the threat of the five ancient gods to force Azura to cooperate with them, but in the end, they were killed by him. It also resulted in the five ancient gods sensing the presence of ancient god Lakshmi in Azura's body, and they gained some understanding of what had happened. But even if Lakshmi's true situation was sensed by the five ancient gods, little Buladin said that she wanted to stroll around Lakshmi city. With her present, the five ancient gods should feel somewhat afraid. How could something still happen? Li Yunmu asked with his brow creased. Holy daughter Yu Ro tucked her hair behind her ear and said with hesitation, with ancient goddess Brunhilde present, the five ancient gods felt threatened. However, after they saw her, they said that they wanted to use her as an exchange condition. Only then would they ally to deal with Azura. Yu Ro saw Li Yunmu's complexion darken and sighed faintly. She had told him only part of the truth. There was another thing she hadn't told him. The reason why she didn't speak was because she was afraid that Li Yunmu would kill the envoys of those ancient gods after hearing it. After a moment of silence, Li Yunmu saw that Yu Ro wanted to say something but was hesitating and calmly said, Is there anything else that you aren't telling me? Yu Ro looked at Li Yunmu with a great war waging in her heart as she contemplated whether she should tell him or not. After thinking for a long while, she clenched her teeth and bit the bullet. Ancient goddess Brunhilde agreed and said that all the five ancient gods wanted her, but she was only one person. The five ancient gods thus dispatched envoys from Divine Palace for a martial competition. Whoever wins will have a round with her, and if they beat her, she will marry them. When she finished, Li Yunmu's eyebrows slightly shuddered. He was extremely furious. When he was in Azura City, 
Brunhilde was feeling bored so he let her come to Lakshmi city so that she could experience the style of the holy daughters and intimidate the five ancient gods in passing. But who could have thought that after hearing it, his wife would set up a martial competition for the five gods with her marriage the prize for it. If he hadn't come to Lakshmi city, who knew whether he would have even learned about this affair? Damn those five ancient gods! Li Yunmu snapped back to reality and looked at holy daughter Yu Ro with a face full of killing intent. Where are the envoys dispatched by the five gods? I will kill them, he said slowly. Wait a moment, you cannot be impulsive. First calm down, you should see the ancient goddess before you do anything, holy daughter Yu Ro said hastily. She then turned around and advanced toward Lakshmi city. After walking a few meters, she glanced back and waved at Li Yunmu. Suppressing the fury in his heart, Li Yunmu stepped forward and caught up with Yu Ro to walk toward Lakshmi city. After entering it, Li Yunmu followed holy daughter Yu Ro. Whenever anyone from Lakshmi city saw her, a hint of astonishment would appear on their faces. They would kowtow on the ground, and a musical instrument would appear in their hands with which they would begin to play excitedly. For a moment, the entire street was filled with melodious tunes. Is the position of Holy Daughter that high in Lakshmi City? Looking at the actions of Lakshmi City's people, it seems like all of them want to serve you, Holy Daughter. It is quite different from Azura City. While hearing the melodious tunes, the fury in Li Yunmu's heart calmed a little. Yu Ro looked at Lakshmi City's people kowtowing on the ground, and a smile appeared on her face. That is only natural, he said with pride in her voice. Only Lakshmi city in the entire Lanlu doesn't place much importance on power of belief, so we don't coerce people into having faith in us. No one in Lakshmi city is concerned about your bloodline. The only thing we pay attention to is honing your skill. Because of this, Lakshmi city is different from the other six cities. We don't differentiate between direct and branch family descendants. Apart from this, every clan's holy daughter doesn't belong to the same family. Any clan member who wants to become a holy daughter can become one. They just need to have a good comprehension of the clan's supreme treasure. Li Yunmu nodded. Lakshmi City's structure was indeed different from that of the other cities of Lanlu, or even the entire origin world. It resembled one from Earth more. Everything in it depended on a person's strength without any importance being placed on their bloodline. As long as someone's strength was sufficiently formidable, they would obtain authority. The criteria for becoming a holy daughter in Lakshmi city was the degree of comprehension of the clan's supreme treasure, which was also kind of reasonable. While walking, as long as you row passed by anyone, that person of Lakshmi city would immediately kowtow and begin performing with their musical instrument. It continued until they reached the center of Lakshmi City. Chapter 886, Music Clan Finally, Li Yunmi reached the central city after following Holy Daughter Yu Ro. If being honest, the central city was only an enormous mansion. Its front door, however, was as high as the city walls. Li Yunmi raised his head and looked at the large red doors, which seemed to be extending to the Divine Palace in Heaven. Two lion statues were in front of the large door. They were lying on their stomachs on a pedestal. Their eyes were closed, but they held their heads high and chests out. Holy daughter Yu Ro looked at Li Yun Mu, then walked to the large doors. When passing through the lion statues, the seemingly dead statues came alive. They looked at Yu Ro, then emotionally said, Little Yu Ro, you returned to the city just now? What did you do on this trip? I brought a man with me. The bodies of the two lion statues trembled while they spoke, which made dust fall off them. Their bodies turned golden, and their gazes began to shine with a faintly discernible divine presence. Don't make fun of me, forefathers. I had gone out of Lakshmi city to relieve my boredom, but who would have expected that I would come across ancient goddess Brunhilde's husband, so I led him back here. I will tell you a secret though. This lord is an ancient god, so forefathers, you cannot use your mouth lightly. When saying the final line, Yu Ro deliberately lowered her voice and spoke in a whisper. 
When the lion statues heard the first half, their bronze bell-sized eyes looked at Li Yunmiu with incredulity, but when the other half came, they glanced at each other and shook their heads. Boring, not interesting. After saying that, the two lion statues returned to their original positions. They laid down on their stomachs with eyes closed, chests out, and heads raised at the sky. Yu Ro waved her hand at Li Yunmiu and said with a smile, Let's go. They went through the door together and saw a lotus pond at the edge. It was filled with many lotuses, which was a delightful sight. The pool, in which the flowers bloomed, also had a few plump kois floating inside. A half-god presence could be sensed from them. This music clan's residence is really quite extravagant. It has two god-level guardian beasts, and even the kois in the pond are emitting half-god presence, Li Yunmiu said ruefully. Although the Moro clan's residence and city lord's mansion were extremely unique in Azura City, when compared to the music clan, both of them seemed like earth compared to heaven. When Yu Ro heard his words, the satisfaction on her face couldn't be concealed. That is only natural, she said with a faint smile. Lakshmi City has existed since ancient times, and this is the residence of a music clan, so it will naturally have everything of the best quality. Music clans aren't like the clans under other ancient gods, who struggle to seize power of belief. Our ancient goddess doesn't have much interest toward power of belief, so our music clans don't care much about it either. Because of this, we pay more attention to other things. Though the two lion statues aren't guardian beasts, but the forefathers of the music clan. When Li Yunmiu heard this, he became even more interested. The two lion statues outside the gate with god-level presence were surprisingly the forefathers of this music clan? He asked with some suspicion. If the two lion statues are the forefathers of a music clan, why did you make them guard the gate? What's more, there wasn't the slightest bit of respect in your words when you were talking to them. Forefathers themselves wanted to stay at the gate. They said that they didn't like staying in the residence and so went to guard the door to hear and see more. They like to gossip, and the matter of ancient goddess Brunhilde's marriage interests them the most. After all, it is the most exciting matter in the music clan. Once forefathers learned that you are her husband, they would certainly stop you to ask about it, but when I mentioned that your strength is at ancient god level, the elders became somewhat afraid and didn't interrogate you. Yu Ro smiled, and her both eyes turned into crescent moon while the shawl draped over her shoulders fluttered freely. Her appearance together along with the clear lotus pond made her look like a heavenly fairy. For a moment, Li Yunmi was startled, and his heart became restless. You are really something. If little Buletin saw your present appearance, she would turn over the heavens the system said with mockery in Li Yunmiu's brain. The very next instant, Li Yunmiu erased his favorable opinion of holy daughter Yu Ro from his heart. It wasn't because it would be difficult to deal with Brunhilde in the music clan, but because the majority of the twelve music clan leaders were women. If he couldn't control his heart when seeing one, then who knew how unstable his mind would become later on. So this is the case. All right, after little Buletin came, did she get along with holy daughter Lu Bailing? Li Yunmiu slowly asked with a calm expression. In Azura City, Brunhilde had said that she wanted to come to Lakshmi City to take a stroll. Upon hearing that, he had panicked a little. His interest in Lu Bailing had been seen through by Brunhilde, so he was somewhat afraid that little Buletin would find trouble with Lu Bailing. But after some thought, he realized that Brunhilde's temperament wasn't like that, so she shouldn't do something like that. When Holy Daughter Yu Ro heard Li Yunmiu's words, she was slightly started. Her beautiful eyes focused on Li Yunmiu as if wanting to see something. After a moment, she said with a smile, Ancient Goddess Brunhilde and Lu Bailing are compatible like sisters and stick together every day. I wonder what was Lord's intention behind this question. Li Yunmiu looked at Yu Ro's gaze and mumbled, nothing. At that moment, a couple women wearing beautiful clothes flew above the lotus pond. They held flower baskets filled with all sorts of flowers. 
Those women looked like they were in the prime of their youth and flew over the lotus pond while laughing and giggling before disappearing into the distance. Li Yun Mu, who was flying behind Yu Ro, shook his head. The music clan indeed had many beauties, he could see beautiful women everywhere. As for men, apart from one of the lion statues, he hadn't seen any after. They passed through a long corridor and arrived in the woods where each and every woman was holding some utensil to collect dew drops from a bamboo. Within the bamboo trees, there were all kinds of pavilions, and beautiful men were sitting in them while playing all sorts of musical instruments. When Li Yun Mu saw that, he was somewhat amazed. Yu Ro turned around and looked at him, then asked, How about it, do you find men playing musical instruments strange? It is not that I think men playing musical instruments is very weird, but that this division of labor is unusual. Why aren't men collecting dew and women playing? Your music clan has twelve holy daughters, but I hadn't expected that there would be such a difference between the positions of men and women compared to other lands. Li Yun Mu slowly said. He recalled a legend from Earth which resembled what he was seeing in the music clan. In Journey to the West, there was a story about a country of women. Regardless of whether it was the Kingdom of Women or Lakshmi City, both of them were matriarchal societies. The difference between them and other places was that the man's position was weaker while women occupied the dominant position. Chapter 887, Stick Like Glue in Lakshmi City's music clans, the highest positions were occupied by women. Even the god of Lakshmi City was a female goddess. If not counting the one man outside, the men in the bamboo forest were the first batch that Li Yunmu had seen. But what was different from his expectations was that in the matriarchal society of Lakshmi City, the position of men and women did not follow his expectations. It is only natural that it is different. The probability of giving birth to a girl in the twelve clans of Lakshmi City is very high, while boys are very rare. With women in excess, the authority would naturally belong to women. As for the men of music clans, they are considered rare treasures, so they only need to cultivate usually, Yu Ro said with a smile. While listening to her words, Li Yunmu's expression turned strange. It was completely different from his imagination. The reason why Lakshmi City was a matriarchal society was because of the disproportionate sex ratio of the children born. Li Yunmu looked again at the men sitting in the pavilion and playing instruments, and jealousy took root in his heart. The men of music clans were considered to be rare treasures. After passing through the bamboos, they reached a palace and heard the laughing of a few women standing outside it. From their voices, Li Yunmu immediately became aware that Brunhilde and Lu Bailing were present there. Before he could enter though, the two women in the palace already detected him and the holy daughter. Younger sister Bailing, my devil husband has come and is standing just outside the palace. Elder sister Brunhilde surprisingly calls her husband a devil. The relation between the two of you seems somewhat weird. Shouldn't the husband and wife be respectful to each other? You don't understand. Once you marry this man, he turns into a different person. All men are pigs. When Li Yun Mu, who stood outside the palace, heard the two talking about him without the slightest apprehension, his expression darkened. Brunhilde was very different compared to when she had just arrived at Lakshmi City. Previously, when they were in the Land of Ice, she was aware of her identity as an ancient goddess and had to treat every matter earnestly. But now, she had learned to have fun and changed greatly. Yu Ro standing by Li Yun Mu's side laughed secretly and entered the palace. Ancient goddess Brunhilde and younger sister Lu Bailing knew that Lord has arrived and still kept discussing you in such a loud voice. Lord's face turned completely dark outside. Humph! Li Yun Mu snorted, then directly entered the palace. Once he went inside, he saw Brunhilde sitting on the main seat while facing a mirror. Lu Bailing was sitting behind her and using gouache. Yu Ro sat down on an opposite chair to mind her own business, but still said, You two are too idle. At such a moment, you still have time to smear gouache. Brunhilde, who was sitting on the main seat observing herself in the mirror, said in a calm voice, Then what should we do? Since you came, 
then sit anywhere Yun Miu. Younger sister Bailing is still arranging my makeup. Li Yun Miu lightly coughed, then sat down in front of Yu Ro. Once he did so, he looked at Lu Bailing drumming gouache. Within a short period, she had changed a lot. When he saw her previously, she was at the Pipa clan, a holy daughter who had recently taken up her position and was fighting against four young masters. At that time, Lu Bailing was in dire straits and completely depressed because of her clan's crisis. At that time, in Li Yun Miu's eyes, she was beautiful, but she also seemed extremely pathetic. However, the Lu Bailing who had come to reside in Lakshmi City had much calmer temperament, and her extremely beautiful face seemed to be shining. You two are quite unbridled. You discovered me standing outside and still dared to say those words. Li Yun Miu said with his eyes focused on the two beauties. When Lu Bailing heard him, the corners of her mouth curled to form a smile. Brunhilda, whose entire face was blocked by the mirror, laughed melodiously. Why can't we speak? Oh right, weren't you the sixth ancestor of Azura City? How come you suddenly came running to Lakshmi City? Azura won't notice your disappearance, she asked with suspicion. Lu Bailing and Yu Ro were slightly startled by her words. Previously, when Brunhilde had arrived, she had only said that Li Yunmi was hiding in Azura City but didn't clarify his position. Both of them thus believed that Li Yunmi was using the identity of an ordinary person. After all, if the distance between two ancient gods was small, they would be able to sense each other. That was why they hadn't expected that Li Yunmi would surprisingly become the sixth ancestor of Azura City. The fact that he was undiscovered despite getting close to Azura, however, spoke of a frightening ability. When Li Yunmi heard Brunhilde's question, he recalled Yu Ro's words about the martial competition. His expression darkened, and he said with an icy tone, If I hadn't come, who knows if my wife would be taken away by the winner of the competition. When he said that, Yu Ro covered her mouth and laughed. Lu Bailing also put down the gouache in her hand and revealed a faint smile. Brunhilde, who was sitting on the main seat, looked at herself in the mirror, then put it away in satisfaction. After that, she turned around and looked at Li Yun Mu. So what? I had to do this in order to pull the five ancient gods to help Lakshmi. If you want to blame anyone, you can blame the four ancestors. If they hadn't secretly colluded with the five ancient gods to deal with Azura, how would the five ancient gods have learned that Lakshmi had suffered injuries? The first thing the five ancient gods did after returning to Lakshmi city was to deal with the ancient goddess Lakshmi. If I hadn't rushed over in time, she would have already disappeared. Lakshmi city and even younger sister Bailing would have become captives as well. Li Yunmiu calmly listened to her words without saying anything. His originally perfect plan was completely destroyed by the collaboration between the four ancestors and the five ancient gods. If not for them, everything would have been in his control. He then looked at Brunhilde and was shocked for a while. Who are you pretending to be? Brunhilde wore a white cotton skirt which showed off her curvy figure. Her delicate lips were painted red and her slightly raised corners of the eyes made her look like a charming fox. This appearance wasn't original. Brunhilde slightly raised the corners of her mouth and said with a smile, I am pretending to be Pipa clan's first holy daughter. With this identity, if I reveal my ancient goddess status, Lakshmi City's crisis will be resolved. But this Pipa clan's first holy daughter is really beautiful. It is so to the point that the five ancient gods went crazy upon seeing her. They are even willing to ally with us to obtain me. The person with a gorgeous smile which could ruin a country in front of Li Yunmi was Brunhilde. Upon seeing her fully, even he was left gaping for a moment. Brunhilde looked extremely charming while pretending to be the deceased ancestor of Pipa clan. Each of her frowns and smiles could charm a person's heart, which was simply terrifying. It was like she was a woman of Deva clan. You are an ancient goddess, so the five ancient gods should be weary of you, so why would ever a lie to deal with you? Chapter 888, Gate of Vitality Brunhilde smiled and said in a disdainful tone, when all said and done, 
you men are really pigs. You would immediately lose reason upon seeing a beautiful woman. This Pipa clan's first holy daughter is extremely beautiful, which caused the five ancient gods who have been existing from ancient times to become confused. When they saw me, they almost broke into a fight among themselves. An internal strife would be good for us, but unfortunately, the five ancient gods are really good schemers. Within a single discussion, they unexpectedly allied and decided to use me as the chip for alliance. Only after persuading them with all I could did I come up with a martial competition. If the five ancient gods attacked together, I wouldn't be their opponent. But if they came to me one by one, I wouldn't even care about them. Li Yunmu nodded while looking at Brunhilde's appearance with his mind fluctuating. Sure enough, her extreme beauty could charm people's hearts to the point that even someone with a mental fortitude like his would be unable to persevere. What could then be said about the five ancient gods who had countless thoughts in their mind? But by daring to desire Li Yunmu's woman, they were simply courting death. The temperature in the hall dropped slightly. Brunhilde saw Li Yunmu's expression and said with a smile, Why don't you say whether those five ancient gods are necessary for us or not? If they aren't, then the two of us, husband and wife, could deal with them. That way, we wouldn't even need to proceed with the martial competition. It would be much better. No, the five ancient gods need to exist. I want them to take the initiative to battle Azura and begin the second battle between gods, Li Yunmu said with a charming smile. Lu Bailing and Yu Ro frowned slightly. If a battle between gods began in Lanlu, it would certainly cover the whole land, and who could say how many people would perish. But the two of them soon remembered that part of ancient god Lakshmi's soul was still in Azura's hand, so if they didn't start the battle between gods, they wouldn't be able to retrieve it. In almost no time, the wrinkled brows of the two of them smoothed out. If a battle between gods begins, Lakshmi city will provide asylum to numerous mortals. Although they have already begun to practice martial skills, they would still be ants in the battle between gods. If we allow those gods to live, then this martial competition will proceed. One by one, I will injure the ancient gods, but how do you want to deal with the five of them? Although they will prostrate themselves in front of my skirt, they aren't idiots, Brunhilde said. Li Yunmu didn't reply. He thought about how to use the five ancient gods to deal with Azura. At this time, the system's voice echoed in his mind, dealing with the five ancient gods isn't difficult. As long as you capture their vitality gate, it can be done. Vitality gate? What's a vitality gate? You said that the five ancient gods have a weakness. Li Yunmu used a mental transmission to talk to the system. Everyone has a vitality gate. You also have one. If the demonic energy in your body erupted, you would transform into a devil that even your family wouldn't recognize. The vitality gates of the five ancient gods are present on the divine treasure, heavenly divine ritual. Heavenly grand ritual can break the curse and allow flesh and bones to rejuvenate for eternity. If an ordinary person obtained it, they would obtain immortality like that of gods and would never die the system explained. Heavenly God Ritual was Li Yunmu's real goal behind coming to Lanlu. It was to break the curse of short life hanging over his daughter. But how was it related to the five ancient gods? What's the use of Heavenly Grand Ritual for those five ancient gods? Li Yunmu asked with some doubt in his voice. When Lanlu and Ocean Region allied to deal with Land of Ice, apart from Azura who was hiding his strength, the other six ancient gods were rather seriously injured. Otherwise why would they return to Divine Palace to recuperate? The injuries of ancient gods are different from those of mortals, however. The stronger they are, the more time they will require to recuperate. Given the injuries of the five of them, it would normally require a hundred years for them to return to their former glory. Even after using the power of belief, they would still need fifty years. But with the heavenly grand ritual, the five ancient gods would only need ten years to recover completely and return to peak strength the system slowly said. So this heavenly grand ritual is presently the most important treasure for the five ancient gods. No wonder they don't have the intention to start the battle between gods, 
Li Yunmiao conveyed in his mind using his thoughts. In the beginning, the five ancient gods had no intention of allying with the ancient goddess or the four ancestors. They might have allied on the surface, but they definitely had no intention to let the situation devolve to the state where they would be all tied by the same rope. In their mind, they would ally with both sides to kill Azura, which was beneficial for them. One more territory meant one more portion of power of belief, which could allow them to quickly recover their injuries. If that did not work, then the alliance of the five gods could still have the use of carrying Azura by force. Naturally, after returning from Azura City, the five ancient gods knew about the severity of Lakshmi's injuries and threw away the thought of alliance and returned to their divine palace to recuperate. Their best choice right then was to return to the divine palace and heal with the assistance of heavenly grand ritual. Ten years could be considered both long and short. In the eyes of undying gods, they would pass within a blink, and when their strength reached the pinnacle, they could engage in the battle of gods. Azura also had the same thoughts. Although he was half a step in the quasi-master god realm, ancient god Lakshmi's soul wasn't easy to suppress. Only after it was thoroughly refined could he attain quasi-master god status. But how could Li Yunmi let the battle of gods be delayed for ten years? Given such a long time, it was uncertain if he could remain for so long in Lan Lao, let alone keep Dragon Lady and his daughter safe. Both sides want to postpone the battle of gods. No wonder then that the five ancient gods didn't attack at that time, and Azura also didn't make his move. Since this is the case, we must be the ones to light the fire. Don't these five gods consider heavenly grand ritual as the supreme treasure? Then we will go, steal it, and place it in Azura City, Li Yunmiu said to the system. It smiled. If the five ancient gods discovered that the divine instrument for treating them was found in Azura City, or even on Azura, they would be forced to attack. With heavenly grand ritual gone, they won't have another choice, otherwise, after Azura refines the soul of the ancient goddess, they will be met with a disaster. But the one most difficult to deal with is you. Previously, you didn't agree to help, but now you're offering your assistance. So, after seeing those mortals, do you approve of my theory? Li Yunmiu asked in a mocking voice. The system didn't reply. It just disappeared in his mind. After returning to reality, Li Yunmiu looked at Brunhilde sitting on the main seat and said, Leave the matter of the competition to me. Would the five ancient gods use their main bodies to participate in the battle in Lakshmi City? When Brunhilde heard this, she coldly sneered and said, How could the five ancient gods descend from the Divine Palace? They will possess the envoys they dispatched for the battle. When everyone is suppressed to God Realm, the competition will be fair. Chapter 889, Heavenly Grand Ritual Li Yunmiu nodded. There was no need to speak if the five gods were going to suppress themselves to God Realm. Even if they were at the peak of their strength, they still might not be a match for Brunhilde one-on-one. -on -one. The suppression would only result in them being crushed. So there was no need to worry about it. When Yu Ro sitting nearby heard the conversation between Li Yunmiu and Brunhilde, she was somewhat shaken in her heart. When she had informed Li Yunmiu, she was afraid that he would destroy the groom inviting competition. If he had attacked, he and ancient goddess Brunhilde would be forced to suffer the attack of the entire Lanlu, and even their Lakshmi city would suffer a calamity. But she had never expected that the two of them would discuss the matter of the competition as if talking about a trivial matter. Lu Bailing, who was sitting behind Brunhilde, also revealed a hint of suspicion. It was completely different from what she had expected. Li Yunmiu turned around and looked at Holy Daughter Yu Ro who was pondering something and slowly said, Oh right, Yu Ro, take me to the ancient god Lakshmi. I want to discuss something with her. Yu Ro nodded. She gave a strange look to Brunhilde sitting on the main seat then turned around and walked outside the palace hall. Li Yunmiu followed behind her. When both of them disappeared from vision, Lu Bailing relaxed. Her eyes looked outside the hall, betraying her listlessness. Brunhilde turned her head and looked at Lu Bailing's expression. A smile appeared at the corners of her lips and she said, 
so, because he didn't pay any attention to you, you are feeling disappointed. Lu Bailing snapped back to attention and shook her head. She looked at Li Yunmu's principal wife and guiltily said, Nothing. Elder sister, you mustn't talk drivel. I am not talking drivel. If you don't like him, why did your expression fill with disappointment when he left? Your control on emotions is really weak, Brunhilde said with a smile. She could see that since the time Li Yunmu saved Lu Bailing at Pipa clan, a favorable opinion of him had developed in her heart. When Brunhilde came left Azura City, she wanted to get close to Lu Bailing to observe her. In truth, she didn't mind Li Yunmi looking outside. After all, all men are pigs. As soon as they see a woman, they fall in love with her. Besides, they were immortal gods, so it would happen often. During her stay in Lakshmi City, Brunhilde came in contact with Lu Bailing and saw her naivety. She liked her pureness, so both of them stuck together like glue. Lu Bailing looked at the faintly smiling Brunhilde and felt even more flustered in her heart. Why did a principal wife have the courage to talk to her like this? Could it be that she meant something else by her words and was in truth reminding her to not have any presumptuous thoughts? Really nothing, elder sister, Lu Bailing said resolutely. In the divine hall in the depths of the music clan's residence, Yu Ro was kneeling in front of a divine altar. Yu Ro requests ancient goddess Lakshmi to appear, she said with respect. Li Yun Mu, who was sitting on the side, looked at the jade pipa placed at the center of the divine altar. Soon, a five-colored light blossomed out of the jade pipa, and the ancient goddess voice echoed in the room. Yu Ro, do you have anything to report to me? It's not Yu Ro who wants to see you, but me. Li Yun Mu looked at Jade Pipa and said with a calm expression, You withdraw first. Yu Ro nodded, then walked outside the hall and closed the door. Only two people, Li Yun Mu and part of ancient god Lakshmi's soul remained in the chamber. When the five-colored light coming out of the Jade Pipa heard Li Yun Mu's voice, it trembled. It's you. Weren't you in Azura City? Why did you come to Lakshmi City? Li Yunmu sat down on the mat on the ground, then replied with a smile, Why can't I come to Lakshmi City? If I hadn't come, then did you really intend to allow the competition between Little Buladin and the five ancient gods? After hearing his words, the ancient goddess hidden in the Jade Pipa snorted and said, You should blame the four ancestors for this matter. If not for them, the five ancient gods wouldn't have discovered my peculiarity. Furthermore, if not for the competition, the five ancient gods would have first swallowed Lakshmi City. If you have a better plan, then this competition can be stopped right away. Naturally I have a plan, that's why I have come to find you. As for the competition, let it continue. I want you all to make sure that the five ancient gods focus themselves on Lakshmi City. I will infiltrate the Divine Palace in the meantime and steal the Heavenly Grand Ritual. Li Yunmu said while looking at the five-colored light coming from Jade Pipa. Then Lakshmi heard the words Heavenly Grand Ritual, she turned silent. The three words were precious, even more rare than divine treasures. After a moment, she slowly said, You want to steal Heavenly Grand Ritual you should know that it is a divine tool used by the five ancient gods for treatment. If it was lost, they will be forced to initiate the battle of gods prematurely and become even more cooperative with Lakshmi City. But I'm afraid that you won't be able to steal the heavenly grand ritual. Unable to steal it? Oh, I won't be able to steal it. Why do you say that? Li Yunmu asked. Heavenly grand ritual is the supreme treasure of Lanlu, and it is enshrined in the divine palace. No ancient god has the authority for private use but Azura has descended to the real world, and as for me, only a part of my soul remains. So the heavenly grand ritual has fallen into the hands of the five ancient gods. If they are using it to treat themselves, it is definitely in a sealed room which is covered by several layers of restrictions for strict management and protection. Even if the attention of the five ancient gods is attracted to Lakshmi City, they will all be gathered in the sealed room. Speaking of which, if you want to steal Heavenly Grand Ritual, 
you must first pass through the defensive spell formation laid by a master god and without attracting the attention of the five ancient gods. After that, you will have to infiltrate the sealed room and steal the heavenly grand ritual from under the noses of the five ancient gods. After hearing her words, Li Yunmu's eyebrows creased slightly. He hadn't expected that the five ancient gods would treat the heavenly grand ritual with such importance and would jointly protect it in a sealed room. The spell formation between the divine palace and the sealed room was even more thorny. If he forcefully attacked it, he could naturally get his hands on heavenly grand ritual, but it would attract the attention of the five ancient gods. His plan was to initiate the second battle of gods between the five ancient gods and Azura, not to concentrate the attention of all the ancient gods on himself. I have a method to get across the spell formation of the divine palace the system suddenly said in Li Yunmu's mind. Li Yunmu frowned slightly, but the system had never cheated him. If it said there was a way to pass the formation, there really had to be a way. That meant that he only lacked the map of the Divine Palace to use the opportunity when the competition was happening to steal the Heavenly Grand Ritual. You don't need to worry about the spell formation. I can deal with it. Give me a map of the Divine Palace, Li Yunmu said. He then though that the ancient goddess might not feel reassured so added a few more words. Oh right, this stolen heavenly grand ritual would deliver to Azura city so that the five ancient gods don't suspect Lakshmi city. Chapter 890, The Five Envoys Yu Rohu was waiting outside the hall, and she saw Li Yunmyo coming out before long. When she glanced at the jade pipa on the divine altar in the hall, the five-colored red light had already pulled inside it. You finished your conversation so quickly. Yu Ro asked in astonishment. How long did you think I would take? Let's go, Li Yunmu said with a smile. They then went toward the hall where Brunhilde was residing. After walking halfway there, Li Yunmu turned to ask Yu Ro, Oh right, are the envoys of the ancient gods already here? When the holy daughter who was following behind him heard the question, she nodded in agreement. Envoys have already arrived at the music clan. One of the holy daughter received them. By the way, Lord, are you really going to let ancient goddess Brunhilde continue participating in the competition? What about it? Li Yunmu asked while walking before her. This competition was proposed by little Buletin herself. It's pretty good for me. At that time, the focus of the five ancient gods will be on this competition. Yu Ro did not reply. While she followed Li Yunmu, her thoughts began to run wild. Although the time ancient goddess Brunhilde spent in Lakshmi city wasn't long, only a short few days, her relationship with Lu Bailing and the other holy daughters was very good. She didn't have the least bit of arrogance. Yu Ro found it hard to see Brunhilde's husband, Li Yunmu show no reaction about the matter of the competition between the ancient goddess and the five ancient gods. Apart from some anger at the start, he did not show anything else. He even agreed to let the competition proceed after talking with her. It wasn't an ordinary competition, however. It was for deciding her groom. Since ancient goddess Brunhilde possessed formidable strength, in the end, none of the five ancient gods were suitable to marry her. Such a matter was inappropriate. If the husband of any person in the music clan encountered such a situation, they would be stamping in fury. Could it then be that Li Yunmu didn't love ancient goddess Brunhilde? It was most likely that. He didn't love her, and it was why he began flirting with holy daughter Lu Bailing of Pipa clan. Men really are pigs. By the time, the two reached the corner of the corridor, Holy Daughter Yu Ro suddenly said to Li Yunmu in a calm voice, Lord, since I have delivered your distinguished self to the music clan, I will withdraw now. After saying that, she turned around and walked in the opposite direction without waiting for Li Yunmu's response. He stopped and looked at Yu Ro with a frown, finding it somewhat strange. She had been acting properly until just a moment ago, so why did she suddenly walk away like that? Not bothering to think too much about it, Li Yunmu went toward Brunhilde's residence while minding his own business. When he returned to the main palace, Brunhilde was still sitting on the main seat, 
but Lu Bailing had already left. Return so quickly. Brunhilde inclined her herd toward him, and a charming smile appeared on her lovely face. Li Yunmu nodded, then walked to Brunhilde's side and said, Wait until the competition between you and the five ancient gods starts, then I will make a trip to the Divine Palace. Trip to the Divine Palace? Why do you have to go there? Brunhilde asked with a slight frown. I will steal the heavenly grand ritual. Once I have it in my hands, the battle between gods will start. After saying that, Li Yunmu pulled Brunhilde into his embrace and said in her ear softly, Little Buletin, I haven't seen you in a long time, so are you trying to kill me? Brunhilde turned to see Li Yunmu's face. She knew what he wanted, so she only waved her hand and a layer of divine energy covered the entire hall. Two days before the competition, the envoys dispatched by the five ancient gods had reached Lakshmi city a long time ago. They had also heard of the exceptional beauty of the newly appeared ancient goddess of Lakshmi city and wanted to personally see her. Brunhilde was the first holy daughter of Pipa clan, so it wasn't like anyone who wanted to see her could do so. When the five envoys arrived, the music clans dispatched their holy daughters to receive them. In the first two days after arriving, the five envoys were entertained by the holy daughters. They were also welcomed by descendants who entertained them with music and some excellent wines. But the hearts of the five envoys weren't present on the scene and they didn't pay any attention to the arrangement of the holy daughters. All of their thoughts were focused on Brunhilde. After many reminders, the holy daughter dispatched to entertain them finally rushed to the main hall to consult with Brunhilde. Ancient Goddess Brunhilde, the envoys from the ancient gods are asking to meet you. They even used the names of the five ancient gods to threaten us. What do you think we should do, one of the holy daughters said in a bad mood. If the envoys hadn't used the names of the ancient gods to threaten her, she wouldn't have rushed over to speak. Brunhilde looked at the holy daughter underneath with a hint of killing intent in her phoenix-like eyes. She could still accept the groom-selecting competition mentioned by the five gods, since all of them were ancient gods with equal status. But what was the status of the five envoys? They were only the sons of the five ancient gods. The god realm could be considered as an untouchable heavens for others, but they were only five ants in her eyes. Yet they were relying on Lakshmi City's weakness to be unbridled. It seemed like they had to be taught a lesson. Brunhilde stood up and was just about to speak when a pair of thick hands took hold of hers. Li Yunmu came out from behind the main seat and said in an icy tone, You don't need to take action in this matter. Those children are untactful and dare to find trouble for you. I will go with you to teach them a lesson. When the holy daughter sitting underneath saw Li Yunmu suddenly appear, she recalled that he was the lord she saw at the Pipa clan and respectfully said, When did lord arrive? Li Yunmu waved his hand in front of Brunhilde. She sensed a burst of warmth and focused her attention on him. She looked at him and directly said, Your appearance won't do. If you followed me and the envoys saw you, wouldn't the ancient gods in the Divine Palace find that something's wrong? Quick, transform into younger sister Bailing. Li Yunmu looked at Brunhilde with a startled expression. He really couldn't follow her as himself going to find the envoys with the identity of a man. If the ancient gods behind the envoys sensed the emotions between the two of them, they would become suspicious. But if he used Lu Bailing's identity, it would be completely safe. But Li Yunmi was still unable to convince himself to transform into a woman. After thinking for a long while, he summoned a shadow which transformed into Lu Bailing's appearance. Li Yunmi then said, Take my shadow with you. Brunhilde coldly snorted, then turned around and walked down the stage. She went outside while leading Li Yunmu's shadow. The holy daughter standing underneath was completely shocked and looked at Li Yunmu lying on the main seat with a hint of suspicion in her eyes. It wasn't that the holy daughter hadn't seen a technique to produce clones, but the refined clones could only have 10% 20% of the main's body strength. Even if Li Yunmu was an ancient god, the clone he congealed could only have the strength of a god at most. Could a single god win against five gods? If a conflict erupted, 
Lakshmi City's other holy daughters could not take action. Only Li Yunmyu who had transformed into Lu Bailing could attack. After all, Brunhilde was impersonating the first holy daughter of Pipa clan while Lu Bailing was the present holy daughter. If her ancestor wasn't respected, it was only natural that the present holy daughter would attack. 